Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Best IT Solutions and today in this video tutorial I am going to discuss about the some basic SQL commands. Okay, so uh, let's start. We will discuss uh, one by one. So SQL, so first we, we need to know what is SQL. So SQL means structural query language. So SQL commands are instructions that are used to communicate with the database. So SQL, this, this is the, this, these are the commands, this is the structural query language, these are the commands or instructions that are used to communicate with the database. It is also used to perform specific tasks, functions and uh, queries of data. So it is also used to perform some specific tasks and functions and queries for data. So SQL can perform that is various tasks like create a table, add data to table, drop the table, that is delete the table, modify the table, set permission for user. So we can do many more operations through these uh, SQL commands um, like we can create the table, we can alter the table, we can add data, variant data to the table, we can drop the table, we can modify the table, we can also set the permissions uh, for the users in the table. So, uh, so this uh, this type of operations we can use through the SQL. Uh, so some basic SQL commands. So the types of SQL commands are like it is divided into five categories. So there are uh, to the overall SQL commands are divided into the five categories. So like uh, DDL, the, the DML, DCL, TCL, and DQL. So we will uh, discuss one by one. So uh, in the DDL. Uh, in that is create, drop, alter, truncate. So these are the uh, commands which are uh, under DDL. And through DML, insert, update, delete. That is, these are the commands uh, under the DML. And grant, revoke are under DCL. Commit, rollback, save, and these are under TCL. And DQL is select, single operation under the select operation uh, command under the DQL. So we will dis uh, discuss one by one. So first, we, what is DDL? So DDL means data definition language. So all the commands of DDL are auto committed. Auto committed. That means it or it is permanently save all the changes in the database. So data definition language uh, is the all the commands of data definition language DDL are auto committed. That means it permanently save all the changes in the database. So like create. So uh, one command is uh, DDL is create. It is used to create a new table in the database. Syntax is create table, table name, and column name, and uh, uh, the data types of the column name. So, for example, create table employee. Here we are creating the table employee, table name employee, and its name is in table employee and name worker. There is a field like name and ID. Name is worker type of size 20, and ID is of number type size 10, and a DOB of date. Type, type, type. Okay, so in this way we can uh, create the table through uh, this DDL command. And another is drop. So drop command is used to delete both the structure and records uh, stored in the complete table deleted. So drop command is used to delete both the structure and records stored in the table. So complete table is will be deleted here through the double drop command. So the drop table table name. Example drop table employee here the employee table will completely deleted from the database. And another command is alter. So it is used to alter the structure of the database. This change could be either to modify the characteristics of an existing attribute or probably to add a new attribute. So to add a new attribute or change the or modify the existing attribute, we can use alter command syntax is uh, to add a new column in the um, existing table, alter table table name and add, there is a word command, add, alter table table name, add and column name and the column definitions. Which column you want to add, that is column name and the data type. So example, alter table student, add address worker to 20 of size 20. So here there is a address column will be added to the existing table. To modify the existing column in the table, and uh, this is the for the add. And if we want to modify the existing column in the table, that is alter table table name modify. That is modify command. So alter table table name modify column name and definition. So 
example alter table student modify name if you want change modify the name then name back up to 20 so in this way we can modify a column and add a column through alter command another is truncate so it is used to delete all the rows from the table so truncate command is used to delete all the rows from the table and free the space containing the table table structure will be uh, remain same but the uh, all the content will be deleted syntax truncate table table name truncate table employee now it will delete permanently that is cannot be roll back so it will delete permanently and it cannot be rolled back and another is dml that is data manipulation language so through dml commands are used to modify the database data so to modify the database data dml command is it is responsible for all form of changes in the database the commands of dml is not auto committed that is it cannot be permanently save all the changes in the database so in ddl command is auto committed but the dml command is not auto committed so it cannot be permanently save all the changes in the database so they can be rolled back so the commands are like insert so it is used to insert data into the row of table syntax insert into table and table name values value 1 value 2 value 2 in this way you can insert the data or insert into table name column 1 column 2 column 3 first we can mention and then we can in values we can mention the value 1 value value in this you can uh, alter the uh, table or uh, sorry we can insert the data to the table insert into employee values so here in, in a employee table we are inserting some data like insert into employee values ram 30 and bbs is the address so ram is the name 30 is the second column and bbs is the address here ram is the name and the id is the 30 we have taken as the, the one is name one is the id yes. so here uh, 30 is the ID and BBC is the address. Insert in student name of subject values. Okay. In this way, we can also uh, insert value. So, another command update. This command is used to update or modify the value of a column in the table. So, since the update table table name set column name equal to value 1, value column n, and uh, addition. So, example is update student set username equal to Tarun, where id equal to 3. So, in this way, we can update so here we are updating the value of uh, username of uh, which id is 3 so delete delete is also dml command data manipulation language so it is used to remove or delete one or more row from a table syntax delete from table uh, delete from table name and where in condition so delete from student where name equal to uh, some name has been given so in this way in this command so the given name row will be deleted from the table and another is dcl so dcl data control language so dcl command are used to grant and take back authority from any database user so dcl command is used to uh, grant and take back authority from any database user grant it is used to give user access privileges to a database so grant it is used to give user access privileges to a database syntax grant select update on my table to some user another user so in this way so we can give the permission grant is used to give user access privileges to a database so in grant select update so this select operation and update operation we are allowing uh, to this table and to the user and revoke is we are taking it is used to take back permissions from the user like revoke syntax is see, revoke select update on my table from users users so the syntax is revoke uh, select uh, permission and update permission from the table and the, uh, from the users this this users so this is the dcl uh, command another is tcl transaction control language so, tcl commands can only use with dml commands like insert delete and update only so the tcl commands are only used with the dml commands like insert uh, delete and update only okay so the tcl commands are like commit rollback so this command is commit this command is used to save all the transactions to the database syntax commit so delete from customer where a is equal to 25 so after deleting or after inserting in data 
we need to commit it. After committing, it will permanently save to the database. And rollback is rollback command is used to undo transactions that have not already been saved to the database. So rollback, delete from customer where is 25. So now it will be deleted, but we can again roll back the data. Again, come back it. And save point. Save point is used to roll back the transaction to a certain point without rolling back the enter transaction. So without rolling the enter transaction, so we can roll back the transaction to a certain Fortunately, syntax is save point, save point name. So we can mention the save point name. From that save point name, it will fetch the data. And this DQL, there is data query language. So DQL is used to fetch the data from the database. So DQL command is used to fetch the data from the database. So it uses only one command, that is select. So select is select, it is used to select the attribute based on the condition described by where class. So syntax select expressions from tables where conditions like select employee name from employee where is greater than 20 so in this way or you can write the select uh, star from employee that is it will fetch the all, el all employee so in the, the ql only one command that is select and so we, it is used to fetch the data from the database always so here select emp name that is employee name will be fetch from the employee table where age is greater than so whose employee has age greater than 20 all this employee will be fetched here this is the uh, sample employee table so how to create a database so to create a database we can use create database and database name so we can use this command like create database and database name example create database tarun so here tarun database will be created and to use database, to use the database, we can use command like use database name. So simply use Tarun that now we are using the Tarun database. And to see the tables of database, we can use show table. So after use that after use command, we can type the command show tables. That is, all the tables inside that database will be uh, populated. Okay. So thank you guys. This much in this video tutorial. And if you learn something from this video tutorial you can like share and subscribe this channel thank you